imagine, if you will, a place that exists beyond all logic and sincerity. A place where people can call other people pedophiles over some design of a character that looks a little too young to their liking and the fact that they have big anime titties. There is a place like that. It is known as the Twitter War Zone. Okay, here we go again. Oh, God. When are you guys gonna ever calm down? I will never understand the anime Twitter or people who like make art and be all like, look guys, I fixed it. Okay, so I don't really have to explain too much about this because hey, guess what? It's relatively straightforward who we're talking about. We're talking about Uzaki. In case anybody has any understanding of Twitter, it's just been a big thing. I do not care for when Twitter does stuff like this. Like, oh, you know, I like, like the body type doesn't make any sense. It's anime. First and four fucking most, it's anime. I'm not sure if you've gotten the uh, memo, but it, it comes off to the concept and the idea that, hey, you know, people that watch anime or people that make manga, light novels and all that stuff, they, um, they often like creating characters with big anime titties. But complaining about it often comes from this perspective that, oh, it doesn't exist in real life. Mm, no, well, I wonder how anti-social majority of these people really are. I, 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 like, for all these, you know, people that are all like, here's how the design would really be if it was a human being. You've never seen human beings before, and I can prove it. This show called Uzaki Wants to Hang Out released, and a lot of people didn't like the fact that she is short, has big titty, and comes off as child. As somebody with a lot of experience with dealing with people in society, and allow me to give you my resume of dealing with human beings on a daily. First and foremost, I was a courier, meaning I had to face people every single day for multiple years of my life. I worked in the service industry Starbucks being one of the big ones. Subway is a pretty, you know, that that one gives a lot of fucking people that I would never wish to ever meet again. I've also been to anime conventions, a lot of them. Plenty, plenty of people to see there. And also, I'm just, you know, a person on Twitter that sees a lot of people who do a lot of selfies. So I have seen human form and shape of all kinds from all around the world, from all different places, it's not uncommon to see that kind of body type. The thing about anime, when you think about stories and the way that they are told, it is often due to the rarity of the people within it. I have seen people act like Uzaki who are full grown ass adults. People that are 30 and still act that way. It's not uncommon, and she doesn't come off as stupid. She's much more smarter than a lot of people would give her credit for. No, it's not something that I make an active effort to watch, but goddamn, it does pop up across my things to watch. ReZero has been actually something that I've been watching a lot of now that it's come out with the second season, but that's neither here nor there. I think one of the things that really get me and one of the big things that really upset me as Aaron is when people go on Twitter and throw out this art piece and say, I made it better. I was personally upset when people were doing that with Persona 5. I was personally upset with people just doing that with Smash. I see how a lot of people would be upset about it because it feels like either that they don't have that body type or a lot of people enjoy that kind of body type and it, like it's, it's fucking anime. Anime titties. Who cares? A lot of people that are really upset about it is the fact that she comes off as childish. Yeah, she's like what in college, a sophomore. That's like 20 years old. Have you never, f have you never met a 20 year old? <laughs> like I, like I went to college. You know, I, I did my, I did my time in college. I met a lot of people, but that's the thing. Like I, I've met, you know, short people. I've met tall people. I'm five foot six. And to be quite honest, a lot of people would not look at me and be all like, oh yeah, he's five foot six. I am. Well, a lot of people that I feel like that are just upset about Uzaki is because of her design. And then by throwing out this concept of like, hey, 
look at this. I fixed the design so we can all start enjoying this. That's not how that works. I didn't make how to be an adventurer to sit here and say, I made Don Machi better. This is like, it, it, this would be like if I sat there and, and said, you know, the reason why I did how to be an adventurer was specifically to fix Bell. No. I made Bell because Bell is slightly designed after me, because it's my form of comedy. Uh, I'm not trying to spit in the face of Damachi. I think Damachi is a great series. I wouldn't own volume 1 through 14 of the light novel if I didn't. Look at this character who was completely designed to be a ballerina. Look at how I take away that entire aspect of the character. If you guys wanted the example of why I was upset with it with the Persona 5 thing, there was somebody that made a design for Kasumi, who is also in Persona 5. She was in the royal version, and somebody just like completely redesigned the entire character just so that way that they can feel like that, you know, oh, look at this design. It's so much better now. Back on the topic of Uzaki, though, I really do not care for Uzaki as a genre, though. Because it's supposed to be like this awkward, you know, coming of age, slice of life comedy show that the only way that people were going to look at this is if Uzaki had D cups. Instead of looking at the show as for what it is, it's just ridiculous fun. This is a crazy wild world that is often mixed with you know, everything that comes along with the human experience. And that comes along in that, with that show. But the takeaway that I get from it is that sometimes there are characters that are designed specifically to get people to look at the show. For example, Don Machi would not be having a third season if not for Hestia. You want to know how I know? Look at how much merch is sold for Don Machi. Who's the main character of Don Machi? Bell. How much merch is sold for Don Machi? All for Hestia. But there is so little Bell merch that it doesn't feel like he's a main character. It just feels like he's just a part of it. He's a part of a story and it's all Hestia's story. When we are explicitly trying to follow Belle's story here. While yes, this is Uzaki and this is her as the main character, I feel like the only way we were going to watch this show is simply just because we saw the big anime titties and we wanted to know what this was about. I'm relatively sure that towards the end of this year, some YouTuber is going to put it into their compilation of the most controversial anime. I did that with an Australian accent. I was trying to do it with a British accent. I think anyone who knows me knows that I am referencing a certain YouTuber. And whoa, look at those big titties. <laughs> I'm only half sorry. So do I hate Uzaki? Yeah, I guess a little bit. There are things that I explicitly don't like about the show because it's just the constant tropiness of what it is designed for. It is just supposed to be this comedy show that is slice of life and the ridiculousness that comes along with the concept of like, I don't want my friend to be antisocial, so I'm going to just, you know, constantly want to hang out with him. But the problem that comes along with it is that the only way people were going to watch the show is if Uzaki was designed the way Uzaki is designed. I don't think that is a bad thing. I just think that it is a cheap way to get what they want. There's nothing explicitly bad about it. It's just that the writing feels like I've seen it a million times with other anime before. It's just that this time a lot of people are more closely invested into the story because of the character. I really don't care how she acts because I've seen people her age act that way all the fucking time. I explicitly don't care about her character design because I've seen that character design a million fucking times. I'm working on a show that has that character design already. And I guess if there's one thing that I can appreciate about the setting is that it's set in college, which is a very rare thing for Japan to do. Because guess what? I fucking hate a high school. And I'm also sick and tired of every isekai that's set in a fantasy-based setting. Bleah, I don't know how to say that differently or better. I'm just saying one of the big things that I am just not a huge fan of and then things that I could possibly enjoy. If this show is for you, then by all means, go ahead, watch it. No one's gonna stop you and don't let people on Twitter tell you otherwise. You're not a pedophile. Oh yeah, that little note I 
do want to end on to the people over on Twitter who think that, oh, because of Uzaki's design, if you watch Uzaki and you like Uzaki, you're a pedophile. No, that's not how that works. This is kind of like the cat girl argument. If you like cat girls and you really like a cat girl, then somehow in some way you're going to want to fuck a cat. No, nobody wants to fuck a cat. Well, there are people that do want to fuck a cat, but... <laughs> cat girls in anime exist. It's for funsies. It's fantasy. Let people just have fantasy, and if they get too weird about it, there's a thing called the police. But people are not watching Uzaki to get off on Uzaki, and the people that are, that's their prerogative, but don't sit there and call them a pedophile for it. So yeah, that's my rant. I've been sitting on this for the past two weeks. Ah, uh, why do you people have to be so fucking stupid? Not you guys. I, obviously, my viewers are not stupid, but like having to listen to the stupid on Twitter just... Mmm, <laughs> fun. All right, so uh, there will be no talking head video next week. Um, it's gonna be a little bit more different. I've been trying to get this project done for months now, and I'm gonna take some time to actually work on it. <laughs> Anyways, if you guys really enjoyed this video, and also if you guys really enjoyed my opener, then maybe you could stick around and watch the rest of this video, and I hope you do enjoy it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and hopefully I'll see you all in the next video. And so we come to our conclusion. It doesn't matter about the design of the character, or rather the age, it is simply the argument of somehow realism and also the rather disadvantage of being a complete and utter goof. Uzaki may come off as very young, but she is in fact a college student and her body design is not completely and utterly unrealistic. However, those within the Twitter war zone, whether they be a white knight or virtue signalers that simply want to get their dick wet, are simply goofs. Here within the Twitter war zone, many would try to make an argument that liking Uzaki is merely the equivalent of being a pedophile. Much like anybody who likes a cat girl would simply want to just fuck a cat. That can't possibly be the logic, but there are those goofs who believe in so. And with that, we come to the end of what is this episode of The Twitter War Zone.